Hi, this is Munson from Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play a song called Folsom Prison Blues by Johnny Cash. And it starts out with kind of an intro lit where you play the second fret on the A string, and then we play that again, and then we play it again, and then we go to first fret on the D string, and play that twice, and then we go back to the A string on the second, and then, then we're going to take third fret on the low E string on the third fret, and then play open E. So we got second on A, second on A, second on A, first on the D, first on the D, second on A, third fret on low E, and then open E. So that's kind of your lead off, and then from there you're going to an E major chord. And the way you play E major, first finger is going to the G string on the first fret, second finger is going to the A string on the second fret, third finger is going to the D on the second fret, and if you strum all those together, it makes an E major chord and it sounds really, really happy. And our verse kind of starts out with a couple of the E's for the intro. We got E, 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 and another E. But then we go to an A major chord, and when you play A major, first finger goes to the D on the second fret, second finger goes to the G on the second fret, and the third finger goes to the B on the second fret. So it's kind of a big party on the second fret, on the D, G, and B's, and that's called A major. It sounds really happy. We end up doing the A major four times, and then we go back to E major four times. So we got E major, E major, E major, E major. But then we go to a B7 chord. And the way you play B7, first finger goes to the D on the first fret, second finger goes to the A on the second fret, third finger goes to the G on the second fret, and the pinky goes to the high E on the second fret. And if you strum just the A string to the high E, that sounds a B7 chord. It sounds a little nasty, it's supposed to be. Yeah, but you avoid the low E at all costs. And we do that four times. <clears throat> and then we're going to go back to E major. And we do that E major twice at the, at the end. And then we kind of start it all over again. So we got E major, E major, E major, E major, E major, E major, E major. A major, A major, A major, A major, back to E major, E major, E major, E major, B7, 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 B7 E major, E major, and then we start all that over again. And that's basically our verse and our chorus progression through the entire song, is that one thing. Now one thing that I like to do to make it a little bit more interesting is something I call a strum pattern. And my favorite 4-4 strum pattern is the down, down, up, up, down, up. So we tried that through that pattern. We have our E major with down, down, up, up, down, up, E, down, down, up. Johnny Cash kind of does to, uh, well, in the bass part with a traditional country tune like this, a lot of times you, you, a different strum pattern would kind of give you that bass feel. And there's something I call the country strum pattern, and what it is is where you play the root of the chord and then do a down up, and then play what's called the fifth of the chord and then do another down up. So on the E major chord, the, the root's what we call the E because that's the name of the chord, and then we go up the alphabet, E, F, G, A, B is what we call the fifth of the chord. And if you're holding down the E major, a B note is actually on the A string on the second fret, and you're already holding it down as part of the chord. So we took the E major and did a low E, and then a down up, and then played the A string, and then went down up. That would kind of be a good country strum pattern through through the tune too. It's kind of going root, down up, A string for the fifth, down up, E for the root, 
down of A string for the fifth, down of the E for the root, down of A string for the fifth, down of E to the E, down of A string for the fifth, down of. Well, when you get to the A string on an A or an A major chord, the A major chord has A, B, C, D, E as a fifth. So you've already got an open E that's below the A string. So what you can do is play open A for the root, and then do a down up, and then go open E for the root, or the fifth, and then go back to open A for the root, open E for the fifth, down up, open A for the root, down up, open E for the root, or the fifth, and then down up, so you got root on the A string, down up, fifth on the low E string, down up. The weird one is when you get a B7, all right, the fifth of a B would be B, C, D, E, F, and in this particular case, it's an F sharp note. And an F sharp note from the B7 chord is actually on the low E on the second fret. So what I like to do on the B7, and this is a little weird, but you play the A string on the second, because that's a B note for the root, and then do your down up. But then if you take the second finger from the A string where you are and go low E on the second fret, that's an F sharp note that, that works your your fifth, and then do the down up. So on the B7, I'm actually moving the second finger for to get that country feel. So I'm going A string on the root, or A string for the root, down, up, and then move the second finger to low E on the second for the fifth, down, up, A string on the second for the root, down, up, low E on the second for the fifth, down, up, A string for the, for the root, down, up, low E for the fifth. So I'm kind of moving two between those two strings. So I know that can be a little weird if you're just starting out. But if we try to, our verse progression with the country strum pattern, we have our E major with a low E root, down up A for the fifth, down up low E for the root, down up A for the fifth, down up low E for the root, down up A for the fifth, down up low E for the root, down up A for the fifth, and then E more E, low E for the root, A for the fifth, low E for the root, down up A string for the fifth, down up low E for the root, down up A string for the fifth. go to the A major, we got the A string for the root, or the A major chord, we got A for the root, down up, low E for the fifth, down up, A for the root, down up, low E for the root, fifth, down up, A for the root, down up, low E for the root, or fifth, down up, A for the root, down up, low E for the fifth. And then we go back to the E major with the low E for the root, down up, A string for the fifth, down up, low E for the root, down up, A string for the fifth, down up, low E for the root, down up, A string for the fifth. So we have our A string on the second for the root, down up, low E on the second for the fifth, down up, A string on the second for the, for the root, down up, low E on the second for the fifth, A string for the root, down up, low E, but you gotta move to the root. <laughs> so that's kind of the weird word. And then you're back to E major with low E root, down up, A string for the fifth, down up, low E for the root, down up, A string for the fifth, down up. Now one weird, other weird thing, if you wanna play along with the recording, um, with this song is Johnny Cash kind of kind of plays it in instead of starting on an E major chord He starts on an F major chord So what you could do it is take, if you take the capo and kind of put it on the first fret Then now your E major is an F major and your A major chord Is really a B flat major chord and your B7 is really a C7 Which you really think the same thing so we took the whole thing from from the beginning with, with our lead off lick and everything And try it one thumb through the pattern um, and let, let's, yeah, yeah, and you could really do this with the down, down, up, up, down, or you could do it with the country feel. Um, let's try it both ways. So if we do the down, down, up, up, down with our lead off lick with the capo, we've got. And I say that. The weird thing about that is that last E note would be like your down for the down, down, up, up, down. Up. So you'd have two, 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 one, one, two. Three, and then hit an E major with a down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. And then our verses would start, we'd have the E major, down, down, up, up, down, 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 E major, down, down, up.
But if we kicked it off one time, like with the country feel, just to try that too, you still have your leadoff lick. But then that first D would be going into the root for the, the root down and fifth down. So you got E major root, fifth root, fifth, and then we got the first E. Basics of how you can play Folsom Prison Blues by Johnny Cash, so good luck!